Hey, what is up, guys? This is FNH here, and today I'm going to be showing you my top five music players. Okay, um, these are the hand selected top five music music players that I have used in the past and I think are really good um, currently now I may or may not be using it um, depending on whatever reason but um, these are the top five that I've used in the past and I think are amazing all right so the first one is music B okay um, this one's pretty popular most people have heard of it right um, so this is one was really good I don't currently use it but um, this one you can have your music you can categorize them in different ways there's thousands of po podcasts on here that you can search right and then this also has a sound cl soundcloud search right so you can sa uh, search on soundcloud straight from this right which is really nice right and then um, you can also see what uh, upcoming uh, bands they are upcoming events for a certain band um in your neighborhood so um so you can see that all that in this app which is really nice um another thing is you can burn to a cd and also convert the formats right um convert and format i should say um so that's really nice i mean most people don't use cds anymore but um it's still nice to have that feature in here just in case you need to use it in the future all right so that's the first one um it's really nice i really like the design also it has a modern design so that that's that's really nice with this all right the next one is fubar 2000 okay so the only reason i say this one is because i've used this in the past maybe early 2000s right and the main reason for this music player is that it's a minimalistic music player so if you're if you don't have a computer that's really that good uh you want to use something that's um you know use it that doesn't use a lot of resources on the computer so this one i would say is uh, um probably one of the best uh music player that you can use that uses minimal resources on your computer okay so uh back in the day when i had a computer that was really slow um you know this um other music players wouldn't really they would take a while to load and if i was running other programs it would just wouldn't load all right so uh, this one really helps uh you can even see by the pictures it has a kind of like an outdated look that's mainly because um it doesn't use a lot of resources all right so all right the next one is winamp uh this one you probably most of you guys probably heard of already all right uh this is one of the most popular ones on the list all right, so uh, Winamp is good because it's simple. It is a good integration with internet resources, right? Um, you can, um, if you have any questions, a lot of people use this, so the internet community about this is also good, right? Um, and then there's many other, um, you know, there's many free resources that you can add with Winamp that use it right so that's good and one thing is that a lot of people who host their own free radios uh, mostly use Winamp right so this is one of the most popular one of the more popular uh, apps that they use uh, mainly one reason is because it's free um, so yeah this one is really good um, also it has customizable themes right uh, which which is really nice even though some themes are kind of outdated but um, uh, it's really nice it's nice to have it uh, changed up once in a while all right so the next one is i imp uh i a i m p dot r u so this is a russian site right um i should say a russian uh mp3 player um so um this one's slightly different but i think it is one of the better ones right i, I was using this for the past two three years right um the thing i really like about this it has um a music player obviously and then um it also has a voice recorder so you can record any like let's say if you're watching youtube you can record the voice of that within this app which is really nice right um you can make your own mp3s like that right um so that and it also has a really modern design and you can see the pictures over here scrolling through right um and i believe it has a nice modern design to it right it's really good um another thing is when you have this on your computer and you have um a playlist or any mp3 track running and you minimize it it will show up on the bottom right hand right here Re really small nothing to interfere with your screen but just on the bottom you can uh change the tracks from here left right pause or anything so it, it doesn't interfere with you but you wouldn't have to uh pull up the whole program again right just to change the track all right so that's really good and it also it is it is also customizable right so they have a few different themes so you can see over here the color is dark with an orange theme 
right um it that you can change to any color that you want right which um i think it's really nice because if orange is not your color then um yeah you might want to change that up all right so last but not least we have this app called nuclear all right so you can see it's a desktop music player focused on streaming from free sources all right so let's check out the official website nuclear.js.org all right so this is the app that I use currently. Um, you can see that it kind of, if you use Spotify, it kind of has a look uh, similar to Spotify. It has that dark theme and then on the bottom, the playlist uh, with the left hand side, um, the image of the uh, album, right? Um, so yeah, it, it's similar to that, um, but it, it's very different. Uh, one way is, is that it's open source, right? And um, aside from that, since it's not your typical music player in the sense that it gets its music from um, free online sources so that includes YouTube, Bandcamp, Bandcamp and SoundCloud right um, so that's really nice so if you have any mp3s that are on YouTube you can just listen to it straight from here right or even uh, SoundCloud or Band Bandcamp camp, right um, so that's really good. Um, aside from that, um, there is also a direct MP3 download feature. So if you're listening to something, you like it, you can just download it right away um, and have the MP3 right from the app itself. All right, so this is the current application that I use right now, but um, um, I believe all the other ones that I mentioned are just as good in, I mean, to each their own right um so all the other ones are good also um i would definitely say try it out test it out see which one you like best and yeah uh let me know in the comments below if you have a specific player that you prefer right um or if you have one that i haven't mentioned let me know about that maybe i haven't tested it out to know whether it's good or not so yeah um if you like the video make sure to like it uh don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time